come into the carpenter's house. We come into the carpenter's workshop. And our lives are broken. Our lives are a mess. And we bring it in. We say, I know this doesn't resemble much. But do you think you can fix it? And the carpenter says, just, just lay it on the counter. If you just lay it on the counter and just let me do what I need to do with it. I'll restore that. You still have it in your arms. And you begin to tell the carpenter, the master carpenter, of all the reasons why he can't fix it. This one here is too broken. I mean, this one here has had, it's had wounds and it's had scars. And I mean, it's been a mess. It's been, it's been a wobbly chair from the time it was a kid. I'm not sure you can fix this one. I mean, you came to the carpenter's place to get it fixed. And the master carpenter's there in front of you, but you refuse to, to put it on there and walk away from it. Because you have it in your mind that the disrepair and the confusion and the chaos and the pieces that you hold are greater than the carpenter. And the carpenter's are like, I just want you to leave it here and, and, and I'll take care of it. But you keep it in your arms and then you leave the carpenter's house without leaving him anything to repair. And here's what we do. We get mad at the carpenter because he didn't fix it. But how can he fix what you won't leave? How can he fix what you won't hand over to him? He can fix anything. He can, he can repair anything. He can remodel anything. He can restore anything. He can do it all. But it's up to us to lay it on the counter and turn it over to him and trust the carpenter is going to do a carpenter's work in the carpenter's house and then walk away from it and come back later and pick it back up when it's repaired and remodeled and restored and renewed. I know in this room today, many of you come in here with your broken lives, and you've got it wrapped up in your arms, and, and you're holding on to it, but you came to the carpenter's house. This is where the carpenter resides. This is where he does his best work, and he can only do a work if you'll turn the pieces over to him, if you'll let it go out of your life, and then he'll take it. He'll make it into being something beautiful and wonderful. We say, I wonder what he's going to make out of it. Let me tell you this. There's not been a single thing ever laid on the carpenter's counter that wasn't created into a masterpiece by the master carpenter. And you don't know what your life is going to be. I don't, all I can tell you, I don't know exactly how it's going to end up. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like. But I do know this, that if you turn your broken life over, if you give pieces of it to Jesus, I promise you this, when you go back to look at your life after the carpenter has got a hold of it, you, my friend, will be an absolute masterpiece. The master carpenter will do a work in your life like you never imagined before. I think that's why he came. 